How you doing, guys? Jake here. It's happening. It's Saturday night for me right now. I'm uh, sitting there hanging out in uh, Memorex 88's, broad 88's broadcast. Because he's broadcasting tonight before I go on. It's about 9.30, my time, p.m. And I'm going to do a quick beer review because I picked up something new tonight, something I've never seen before. Don't know if you guys have ever seen this. Let's get on with it right quick. It's Shock Top Belgian White Ale. Shock Top. Did you ever hear of that one? Shock Top, eh? Brewing Company in St. Louis, Missouri. Another one from St. Louis. It's ale with coriander, orange, lemon, and lime peel. Contains wheat. It's 5.2% ABV, 473 milliliters. Let's crack it open and see what we got here. See what I got. I don't have a, I don't have really a particular wheat ale glass, but so I'm just going to use my old speckled hen glass here. My old speckled hen glass. Okay, just washed it a bit, a little bit ago. So here, pour up. See what we got here. It's still delicious shock top. Hopefully it'll be delicious. Maybe I was supposed to give it a shake. What do you think? No, 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 not shake it. But I don't know. It's a little. It's going to be a little bit unfit. It's unfiltered. I'm assuming. So. Yeah, you're right. It's unfiltered. Hmm. Doesn't say anything on the can. No, it doesn't say too much on this. Besides what I've already read. There's nothing else. So, shock top. A shock top. Let's give it a sniff. Mm hmm. I can smell it. I can smell the coriander right off the bat and the, the orange peel. Not a real strong smell, but it's there. It's faint. Tiny bit of hops. Mm, but mostly, for well, the most part, it's the uh, you know the peel, the orange peel, and the coriander, coriander. As you can see, as you can see, it is a. Here, have a good look at that one. It is an unfiltered beer. It is an unfiltered beer. You can't really see through it, but you know, it's got a very yellowish. The head is sort of dissipating pretty quick. It's got a yellowish, you know, I don't know what it looks like on the camera, but it's kind of a, kind of a orangey, uh, orange lemony kind of color to it. Not quite orange, but sort of a, a yellowish orange. Yeah, almost as if it was just a, almost as if it was like a, you know, like an orange lemon type of drink. Anyways, let's go for a sip here. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, somewhat interesting. Let's have another sip. Hmm. Well, it's it's decently carbonated. I'm getting kind of a. I'm getting a little bit. I'm getting, a, it's, 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 you know, it's resembling a Belgian, you know, like a Belgian coriander type of wheat beer. I'm getting a, a little bit of a, a sense of, of like, kind of like a, almost like a beer with a, with a bit of a, well, I don't know if I'd go so far as to saying a bit of a, um, like a, a cooler taste into it. But, you know, I suppose if you were to take an average, uh, say, an average wheat beer with nothing into it and mix it with a cooler that was kind of like, a, kinda like a, a, an orange sort of, an unfiltered orange sort of lime, lemon cooler, mix the two of them kind of together, this is about what you, you know, this is about what I'm tasting here. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, 
Yes. The citrus, the, there is quite a quite a bit of citrus in it. I mean, that's that's the prominent taste to me is is the citrus from the from the orange, and the coriander, and it is very. Oh, I'm gonna compare it to another beer back there. Um, some of you might be able to guess what I'm gonna say, but it's it's somewhat close comparison comparison to the. Oh, it's a Ho Garden or How Garden? Who Garden? Who Garden? Who Garden? Right, right. Number three is number three, right? Anyways, yeah, that's pretty close. It's similar to that. Very similar. Subtle differences. Not a bad beer, I guess. I mean, it's pretty good. Quite, you know, somewhat sessionable. I could probably drink a few of these. Uh, didn't retain much head, nor lacing. Not much of a lacing type beer. So, anyhow, it's not bad, okay? Um, I'm not going to say it's brilliant. It's not out, you know, it's not out there. It's not amazing. But it's, uh, you know, it's not bad. Pretty decent. I'm going to give it a generous 3 out of 5 for me. Um, it's good. It's worth a try. Definitely worth picking up and trying it out. Not amazing. I'm sorry, guys, but that's just my opinion. You might have a difference. Somebody else watched the other videos on YouTube. Somebody else might have a different opinion. Right on. Right on. Okay. That's what you got to do. Okay. You can't, you can't just go by one review either. You got to watch a couple. You gotta watch three or four or five or six of them. Anyways, I gotta let you go. Get back to Memorex 88's broadcast. And what the hell? You know what? I'm gonna leave a, a link on the bottom of this video when this gets posted for Memorex channel on JTV, Justin.tv. He's gonna broadcast now every Saturday night for an hour to two hours, thereabouts. Maybe you might want to stop by and join him. And uh, he's a cool fellow too. Plays great music. He's got everything. He's got the cast going well now. Music. Good, funny chat. Hilarious fella. Likes to kid around. I gotta go, guys. Thanks for thanks for watching. Keep your mugs full. Cheers, and I'll see you soon. Bye.